In this video, we'll talk about what is the Windows Azure platform. The Windows Azure platform is a set of services and technologies that enable you to easily benefit from the scalability and agility of cloud computing. With the Windows Azure platform, you can store data and build and connect applications in the cloud in much the same way you currently do on-premises. A simple way to understand how the Windows Azure platform works is to start with something familiar. Let's look at a basic local application setup. Typically, you'd have some hardware, a server. You would have an operating system. Running on the operating system is an application. It could be anything, accounting software, a line of business application, a website, whatever. It's physically installed on the server. If the application needs it, it's connected to a database, which probably runs on its own special box. There are also some other services that do specialized jobs, access control, security, networking, things like that. One challenging aspect of an on-premises scenario like this is that everyone has to manage their own stuff, their own hardware, operating systems, databases, and so on, rather than doing whatever it is they're really good at, and scaling up or down can be complex. Now, let's imagine a similar scenario, except this time, the application is in the cloud using the Windows Azure platform. There's still hardware powering it, but you never see that hardware. It's running in a data center, which is part of a global network. Applications are distributed across those servers. You don't have to patch the hardware, update it, manage it, or even really think about it. So you can focus on adding business value and key features to applications rather than on setting up, provisioning, managing, or scaling infrastructure. All of that stuff is taken care of by Windows Azure, the cloud operating system as a service from Microsoft. Now, there's also a database component to the Windows Azure platform. This is called SQL Azure. It's a relational database in the cloud built on Microsoft SQL Server technology and running in the same Microsoft data centers as Windows Azure. Then there are services that take care of some of the more challenging aspects of connecting applications. The service bus lets you connect applications, whether cloud to cloud or cloud to on-premises, without having to code every aspect of that connection into the software. The access control service enables you to provide access to your cloud resources to people outside of your corporate network without losing control of how they use those resources. So the basic idea in the cloud is the same as for on-premises. You have an operating system, a database, and whatever additional services you need to get things done. But instead of buying and managing all these elements yourself, like you would with on-premises infrastructure, it's all done behind the scenes. You just use the capacity you need. Now, let's see what this managed infrastructure will enable you to do. The Windows Azure platform supports some exciting scenarios. Imagine that you write a web application. With the Windows Azure platform, that application can easily scale from serving a few users to serving many. This capability is available to anyone, regardless of company size or current IT resources. Because it works seamlessly with on-premises software, the Windows Azure platform can be used to enhance and extend local computing resources, often without the need for extensive coding to make the connection. Cloud computing also enables new forms of collaboration, whether that means giving partners access to a line of business application or helping remote workers access data wherever they are, the Windows Azure platform offers a broad set of services and tools to help you solve business challenges.